Wall Wisher is a free, very easy to use tool that allows you to create an online bulletin board. There are many ways this could be used in the classroom. The first step is to register. You only have to register to create a wall. You don't have to register or have an account to post sticky notes. All right, all you have to do is put in your email address and then choose a password. I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Over here are your account details. You can click here to build a new wall, or up here in the right-hand corner, you can click build a wall. This is so easy to use. It gives you step-by-step -step directions right here on the screen. I'm going to start here. Click here to edit title. What makes a good learner? I think that will be my topic for discussion. Then underneath it says click here to add a subtitle. This is a place where you can add a little bit more information about your topic. Add your ideas about the characteristics a successful learner demonstrates. All right, so that when people come and look at the wall, they'll know what kind of information I'd like for them to post on a sticky note. Now I'm going to click to select an image. Um, there are several to choose from down here at the bottom, but I'm going to click this button to upload my own. I'm going to browse, and I have a lighthouse picture that I want to use. Now I'm going to close that window. My picture won't actually appear or be visible until I finish creating my wall and I've clicked Done. All right, let's look at preferences now. I want to leave this. Who can view? I'm going to leave it that everyone can view it. Who can post sticky notes? I'm also going to leave this so that everyone can post sticky notes. There's another option down here at the bottom that I'm also going to check. I want to approve every post before it shows up on the wall. Because I'm using this in a school setting, I want a chance to look over the, the uh, comments that people make before they're actually posted and visible so that I can approve um, that everything is appropriate. All right, now up here at the top, it says you can choose your wall URL. This is optional. If you leave this box blank, it will create a random URL for you with letters and numbers. Um, but if you like, if you want to type in words to make it a little more related to your topic, you can do that. Uh, no spaces between the words. Successful learners. Now I'm going to think about the background. I can do that by coming over here to theme. I think I'm going to choose grass. Yeah, I like that. So now I've created, I've added a picture, I've done my title and subtitle, I've checked my preferences, and I've selected my background. Now I'm ready to click Done. And it's as simple as that. I got a message, my wall is ready. I'll be redirected to my wall, but I'll also receive an email that will have the URL for this wall. And it says double click anywhere to add a sticky. I can double click. Um, this already has my name because I'm logged in as me, but when you come and visit my wall, it will say anonymous here and you need to type your name. Then I'm going to write a message here about a good learner. A good learner knows how to locate needed information. You also have an option down here that you can add image, audio, or a video link. Then all you have to do is click OK. And you're done. These sticky notes can be moved. Um, you can edit your sticky note. It's very simple and easy to use. Enjoy Wall Wisher.